Robins are the song of spring. I can remember years ago as a child, laying in my bed, my eyes opened. It's the morning of something fun planned with family or with friends that I've been looking forward to for weeks and weeks, maybe even months. I open my eyes and the first thing I can hear outside is that beautiful, cheery, bright song of Robins. Just a great way to start the day. Made me want to get up out of bed and just enjoy my life to the fullest. I love these birds, and I love their song. They make me think of my childhood. I wanted to do something nice for them to return the favor. So I did. So today I'm out in the front yard, and I'm actually feeding these North American robins. I have this little cup of mealworms that I bought for the Orioles, and I'm air delivering them to the robins, and they seem to finally be catching on. The reason I make that little noise with my mouth right before I feed the robins is because I want them to oh, yeah. associate that sound with the food so I can get their attention, and it worked. <laughs> this is the female that we're feeding right now. There's, there's a nest just up there on the downspout, they've built a nest and they're collecting as many as they can to feed to their uh, nestlings. Come on, there you go. There you go. I'll give you another one, bird. There's another one. It's so fun to watch these robins build like a Pavlonian response to me coming out here with a straw. This is probably the third or fourth day I've been doing this for multiple hours every day and uh, these birds are learning very quickly. Okay, she's just waiting for me. She's waiting for me. Right here. Here you go. Wait till she looks my way. There you go. There you go, little robin. Little worm goes in the plastic straw like this. I push him in there and then I put my mouth on the straw and then make a little noise to indicate what I'm about to do to the robin. And then I blow through the straw and deliver the worm to the robin. There's too much to gain to not do this. A little bit of worm residue in my mouth. It's just perfectly fine. This is a very rewarding experience feeding these robins like this. Want another one? You dig it. She sees it, but this is like the closest she's ever been to me right now. Oh. It's really funny because these robins will reach a certain point where they know they have so many worms in their beak they physically cannot hold any more. And then at that point she'll run along the front of the house and fly up to the nest and deliver what she has to the babies. But something just clicks in her little, little brain that says, I can't hold any more of these things, I'm gonna drop them. 